Well, stocks rallied to finish higher today, overcoming some worries about an escalating trade dispute between the U.S. and China. But it sure got off to a rough start. The Dow plunging 501 points at the opening bell this morning. The volatility due to fears President Trump is provoking a trade war with China and his continued attacks on Amazon. CBS 4's Laura Podesta is live in New York. And Laura, nice to talk to you. Let's go through the basics first and explain what spooked the markets here and around the world overnight. Well, Rick, overnight the Chinese government announced it was slapping new tariffs on $50 billion worth of U.S. goods. China's decision came roughly 12 hours after the U.S. hit China with tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese imports. So this is a tit-for-tat tariff battle, and that sent the markets plummeting in pre-trading hours and when the market opened. However, Wall Street rebounded by the closing bell. If you take a look at these numbers here, up 230 pounds for the 230 points for the Dow, up 100 for the NASDAQ. Rick? So there was a bit of a rebound or, or an absolute rebound by, by time the closing bell rang. But let's talk about these tariffs mm -hmm. that you mentioned, Laura, and which U.S. products in particular would be most affected? Well, the tariffs impact more than 100 U.S. exports, including jetliners like the sales of Boeing aircraft, American beef, whiskey, automobiles, and soybeans. The American Soybean Association, a lobbying group that represents 21,000 producers, says China's proposed 25% tariff on soybeans would be, quote, devastating to U.S. farmers. Rick. And soon after the market plunged this morning, and we just talked about how quickly it went down before it rebounded, it appeared that the Trump administration and China tried to ease some of the fears that are out there. What happened with that? Absolutely. Well, first of all, President Trump tweeted, quote, we are not in a trade war with China. That war was lost many years ago. Then his chief economic officer went on Fox News and said there are already back channel talks going on and negotiations between the U.S. and China. And China said this morning that it had made a request for consolations at the World Trade Organization in response to U.S. tariffs against their products. And these tariffs, we should note, do not go into effect for 60 days. There's time for revisions, for negotiations, and, of course, potential pullbacks. Rick? Laura Podesta, live for us in New York. Laura, thanks so much.